day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And I think once again it goes back to well, I'll put right back to that neighbor thing again. Is once you put me in the I guess once you tell me I'm not your neighbor because of my origin, my political affiliation, yeah. then it justifies you to do everything. Yeah, and once you're labeled, once you're you're labeled as something other. Yeah. Then you can you 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 can pick what applies. What a, come on, brother! I mean, why don't we just be real about this? This is exactly yeah. what we're saying. It was it was all right to go across the other side of the road because that's not my neighbor. Yeah. It was all right to look at him and then go another the side of the road. That's not my neighbor. And that's what God is saying is do likewise as a Samaritan, not like the. He didn't say go do like the priest. He didn't say go do like the scribe. He said, brother, he said go, not Levi. He said go and do what the Samaritan did, Elder. Show mercy. That's what I want. I think I'm saying that there's our central theme of the text. Ella, Ella what's yours? You said you got one to show. Go ahead and put yours up so we can wrap up. Oh, let me see if I got that thing so we can share. That is clicking. Trying to find a share icon. Where is it? Is that green box? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. You know, I tell you, in, in doing this, it's uh... Do you see it? Okay. Ooh, he got a pretty slide. Yeah, he got a pretty slide. Let's he see if work. He Let's got a pretty it. PowerPoint slide. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, look, that's a red in it, too. I guess the red represents blood. It says, so your neighbor is anyone. And everyone, you too many ones in there, huh? I got one too many ones in there. Yeah, <laughs> I know you know, that's you that's your that's your CIT. <laughs> <laughs> your there neighbor you is anyone and everyone you can assist. Yeah, and that's the central theme of the text. Eddie. Your yep. neighbor is anyone and everyone you can assist. And I put, I put you in there because you 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 the pivot. You know yeah. you if you can assist them, that's your neighbor. Yeah, yeah, and that, and that that's that's what he was trying to say: to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, <coughs> and to love the Lord with himself, because he want to know who his neighbor is. And the bigger question is eternal life, right? How to get eternal life? Well. For this part, your neighbor is anyone and everyone you can assist. Yep. You cover that, you cover every aspect of the law of dealing with that neighbor. And then love the Lord thy God with all that heart, and all that soul, all that mind, all that strength. And you love your neighbors yourself. That that's that's the brother as I think that's the that is the essence of the theme central theme of the uh, text is both commandments, right? Because you really want to try to get a higher eternal life. You can stop sharing now. In, 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 in uh, elders, it's it's missing the first commandment. In my, just in my mind. Yeah, it didn't have the love, right. So the, really the question was, how do I inherit eternal life, right? Yeah. And the, the, her internal life is I gotta love God and I gotta love my neighbor. Yeah. You know, for some reason that I got lost in that because I thought we were just dealing with the the neighbor part. We were trying to determine who the neighbor was. Right. Well, my in, bad. Yeah, but no, you're not right. a bad. Correct. 
we're just saying this, like I said, the, the whole central theme of this thing start off with, how can I inherit eternal life? Was that, that's what it start off, right? And then okay. Jesus said, what, what does the law say? And what did man say? Well, it says, love the Lord that God with all that heart, with all that soul, all that soul and all that mind or whatever, mind and strength and to love that neighbor that self. And then that joker, then you say you have the right, right? You, you put yours down, I'll show you back to the scriptures. Look at the scriptures here, I'm gonna bring it up. You have the kill sign facing her? No. Yeah. Cause I, I you know, but, but as you're getting ready to say something about the, uh, this method here, one of the things is, see how the, if, if you look at the scriptures, right, Luke 10, 25. But as you want to break it down for us, because you get, get like you said, the central theme of the text is what, what is the central theme of this text? That's what Elder, I mean, Bishop was trying to get us to make sure we, we stay focused on whatever scripture we're focusing on. Well, you still got the other one too, that discipleship one, right? Mm-hmm, I got it. Because I'm interested in after we, after we speak this statement, what and then we'll wrap it up with yours in your mind is uh brother addison as you read this now point out the central theme of this 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 these scriptures we don't have to go into <laughs> these but you can just go from 25 to 29 what is the central theme of this, this uh, well it's 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 in, in my mind there's there's a few different ways of of going about this uh -huh. uh, we could look at uh uh, the other scriptures, which were uh, Matthew and Mark, and uh, and how and how it got to this particular uh, story <clears throat> this, or, or encounter, I should say, because it's not a parable. We we we've actually figured that out. It's really not a parable. Right. It is a it is an encounter with Jesus. Uh -huh. And uh, so, in in reading the the other the other books, um, if you add the other books, then the central the central informational text, or, or however the CIT, whatever that means, it's not. It can't be just summed up in this, these books. I mean, in this this particular scripture in Luke. But if you just look at Luke right here, right, just look right here. Yeah. If I just look at Luke, then I have to start off like I did. You know, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying. So if 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 it's saying that he tempted him, and in his tempting he said, "Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life?" Right. So if he's tempted him, then I think think the central thing we need to look at is, okay, why is it? Why is he tempting him with this? Yeah. Question. That's Right. This question right here. Okay. Um, and so then the answer, you know, he said on him, what is written in the law? Right. How readest thou? How do you read it? Not, not, <laughs> not how do I read it? How do you read it? Not right. how do anybody else reads it? How do you specifically read it? Which really turns the question right back to this person. Right. This lawyer who's supposed to be uh well versed in the law yes and so the answer that that the guy gave was of course the, the greatest commandment which jesus said is well which jesus agreed he was is that's to love the lord thy god with right. all that heart god with all that soul with all that strength with all that mind and thy neighbor as thyself Right. So that I can see how that will be the central uh, 
theme to this 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 text. Right. right. That right there. Right there. Right. And so because that encompasses the first two commandments. Uh-huh. <laughs> the first and the second, uh -huh. which encompasses all of the commandments. Exactly. All and of so it. that right there is is what this should be talking about right now my thing is why out of all the things would he tip <laughs> jesus is this because they asked him all kind of other questions in the other uh books yeah. you know before it got to this <laughs> this lawyer because this lawyer sat back and actually witnessed how Jesus put everybody at bay that tried right. <laughs> that tried to, to come at him, you know? And and then when this guy comes up, he's like, okay, I got one for him. That's this is my my thinking. You know, well, I'm gonna get him with this. I'm gonna get him with this. Right. What is your get idea him with, with this? this? Let me let me let me throw this at him right. and see if I can stump him or get him to uh to to commit uh a sin or whatever he was, he was saying yeah. something different contrary to law he wanted contrary to, to law because yeah so then law. trying to find a reason to stone him yeah and so yeah and, and just in in the fact that jesus went past his trap and trapped him used his trap to trap him exactly because exactly. he was wanting jesus to give an answer but Jesus actually scraped the flip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he scraped the flip and yeah. asked him. Yeah. Had him answer his own question. Exactly. And say, and look, then, I'm not gonna contract, I'm not gonna contradict that. Yeah. Right? So not, the I'm great gonna... thing is he could have just said yes or no. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, even after he he uh answered it, and then he did. Yeah, he did. I think Christ finished. That what I tell him this the other, other day. That boy finished on 28th. First, Jesus was finished until so and so wanted to justify himself. Yeah, because Jesus said, You have you answered this right. You, yeah, you're correct. You're correct. It's this this do, do this. <laughs> yeah. If you do that, come on, then you <laughs> shall live. Hey, hey. It but this is the thing. He didn't say you'll have eternal life. Right. He, he said, did. "You'll live." Right, right. But he was—he didn't say live. Right. He didn't say live. He, he didn't say you will inherit eternal life because right. he couldn't. Right. He could not inherit eternal life. <laughs> he couldn't fulfill the law. He couldn't and fulfill it, the law. Right. And I think that when the guy was trying to come back on trying to just see, look to that guy, he felt just like that rich man ruler, right? You yeah. got doing all this stuff. I've been doing all this stuff since I was a youth. Yeah. Huh? So in other words, I have been justified yeah. for eternal life. I'm just asking you to make sure I'm correct. The lawyer doing this so I can, that's a rich man. The lawyer is doing this so I can trick you up and get you to say something <clears throat> that's contrary to eternal life. <clears throat> and Jesus said, you answer right. Then he put the piece in there. Now you need to do what's right, right? And then the ruler, the lawyer, is in there saying, "Well, I'll do what's right, as, but I need to know who my neighbor is." Well, this is the thing: the lawyer tried to justify himself. Yeah, yeah. Outside of Christ, who he was talking to, he couldn't justify himself. Right, but well, he wanted to, right? And that's so. How, but this is was his thinking. Yeah, in absence of God, that's what people do, right? Yeah, you try and justify what you did. Even exactly. even, even in encountering God himself, people try right. and justify right. themselves and their behaviors. Yeah, yeah. And Who is my neighbor? How, how, how are you going to justify that? <laughs> uh, justify yourself right. by asking another question. Woo! Yeah, now you <laughs> Who is my name? Yeah, you're talking. That's a good point, right? What? What? Why did you do that? <laughs> what? Right. But as a why did you put that justification of of being able to say who is my neighbor? 
Yeah. Well, when I when I first looked at that, and I was thinking, well, he knows that Jesus knows that he couldn't fulfill that first commandment. That's 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 a that's a that's a good point, right? He couldn't feel that, so he was like, "Okay, well, let me justify myself because I know I can love my neighbor. I know I can love the people I want to consider my neighbor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So who's my neighbor? Who's my so neighbor? I think that that was why that question came up. Exactly. And so then Jesus broke it down to him, what which he that? always do. I mean, he break it down so that it's broke. You can't put it back together. Come on, <laughs> break it down. So, so I like, so I think, so that's what I think what Prophet uh, Bishop was trying to do is to get us to say, okay, let's make sure what is it trying to, you know, when we read this particular set of scriptures, what is it that he's trying to answer, right? What, what is the whole, what's going on in this conversation? And what's the, what's the central piece of it? So, I mean, that's a maybe a good study approach. That's all I'm saying. It may be yeah, it is. It is because when you break it, when you break it down, the bottom, the, to me, all this is is love. Yeah. Period. You could use yeah. a, one word, C-I-T, love. Right. That's it. Right. That's, yeah, that's it. That's the bottom. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Period. Exactly. Period. Exactly. And yeah. uh, and that that was the the central thing. Yeah. Uh, it it is unconditional love. Right. And so I think I like the fact that he's trying to. I'm just saying is this as we do uh, study, try to find out what the central uh, theme of the text. I guess a lot of cases the ones I've been always been doing. If you uh, y'all know the subject, I, when I bring a subject, remember for all the past study. I'm basically saying this is the central theme of my text, right? Uh -huh. it, whatever that title is, this is what I'm trying to go toward. This, this is the whole idea of what we're going to discuss. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then, then we go through the scriptures to link back that direction. That's that's the whole way of approach. And yeah. uh, maybe maybe he didn't understand <clears throat> that, or maybe he wanted to do something a little different. That's fine. So what what's that like? I, I, I do love this. I mean, it, it really uh, causes you to get in here and, and, and do some study. Uh, not saying that we weren't studying before, but it, it makes me uh, do a little bit more. Dig it, yeah. Um, uh, but just the fact that we did that parable as the first one, yeah, that meant so much to me. Right. That 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 first that first CIT we did was uh was phenomenal. You know what he said. It it, 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 it really it, it really broke broke down some things. Um, it it uh it explains it explains this life. Yeah, yeah. It explains this new covenant life. It it and it, it really broke it down. So. I can see just how and where I'm at at any particular time in in, in my walk. I yeah. mean, even down to the to the minute, you yeah. know, I can break that that parable breaks me down to to big chunks, little chunks, and in, in small increments <laughs> of my life, even dealing with every situation and circumstance. Yeah. It breaks it down to that, that right. one parable. Come on, so man. it all it does is it, it's it's showing the effects of the word of God Come on. on every situation in your life. Every situation, exactly. every and every like situation, it. and so that that's what 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 is astonishing me, which really drives you to renew your mind. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I thought even with this one, this one, if you notice, that really gives the back the theme of saying, "Who is my neighbor?" First of all, as eternal life is only going to be achieved by through Jesus Christ. But the other piece is though, because I, I think that's one of the shortfalls of the church is that neighbor question: "Who is my neighbor?" You know, that I think that 
it's important for the church to teach that our neighbor is is not based on color, race, geography, <laughs> political affiliation. <laughs> that, it does not justify <laughs> your behavior towards somebody that you think is not your neighbor. <laughs> 